Welcome, everybody, to another episode in the saga of Sir Spawns a lot on ARK Survival Evolved for PS4. Today is the start of a new series, my friends. It's been a quite some time since I have joined you all for a video. I have been playing, but uh, just haven't been uh, recording and making videos. I got a bunch of videos that I really need to edit and add for you guys, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And I decided that it'd be better if uh, we just start a brand spanking new series. We're going to start today on Aberration. And we are going to go from level zero to see how we do on the map that is my favorite, but is definitely one of the hardest on the arc. Let's see how it goes. We're starting off here in the mushroom forest. Got a little allergic reaction to my implants, so I had to give it a quick scratch. And we get to start off in an earthquake. It's always exciting. As with every other map, we're going to start out by just getting some uh, tools going. See a raptor over there. So let's see what we can do. Take a piece of wood. There we go. There's a ravager over there. Alright. I'm not thinking that we can pick up any of these stones on the ground. It'd be nice if we could. I think we have to go down towards the. Uh... I'll take that flint. It'd be nice if some rocks fell in front of us from the uh, earthquake. Yeah, it's not going to let us pick up any of this stuff, is it? I hear a raptor. Alright, let's get the heck out of there. Let that stego take that raptor on. Hey, we're off to a good start. We're already almost dead. Alright, let's uh, start with some movement speed here. I definitely have a feeling that we're going to need some of that movement speed. Thanks for taking care of that for us, buddy. Definitely appreciate the, uh... Oh, man. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? It's a 130. Of course the raptor that tries to get us right in the very beginning was a 130, and we had to get a Stego to kill it for us, but... You know what? It happens. Alright, let's try to avoid getting attacked by other stuff right now. That seems like a good idea. Um, we'll save that for just a moment. We do want to come back for that. I'm, I'm good on you, buddy. Why don't you come attack the parasaur with your friend? No, you're going to kill me. Alright. <laughs> Well, we're off to a good start here, guys. Killed by an aberrant scorpion, level 40. Um, we're going to keep coming back to this lower mushroom forest, though. I think that this is going to be a good spot for us to start at. <laughs> Turkey Trial started today, by the way. Uh, I am playing on a server. Uh, just so that everybody's aware of settings and whatnot. I'm playing on a server. I'm not playing on my single player. Um, actually, it's looking a little dark for you guys. Uh, I can see just fine, but probably want to gamma up for you guys just a little bit. Uh, 
Um, we'll gamma back down when it comes back to daytime here, but um, the settings are two times harvesting, uh, two times harvest health, four times taming. Uh, pretty much everything else is vanilla except for obviously breeding and uh, maturation and stuff like that. Um, wanted to keep it pretty much as similar to what you guys will be able to do uh, as possible. So um, I play on console. I wanted to keep everything as vanilla as possible because hopefully uh, you guys will be playing on console as well. There's a blue drop down here, but usually there's crabs and other stuff right down here, so this might not be the best idea. Oh, yes. Hey. Stone. That's what we're talking about. Alright. Yeah, we've got a couple sarcos in there and a manta, so let's not go running off into there just yet. What we will do is get ourselves a bit going. Hey, we're on our way now. Hatchet, get a couple spears, get a torch. Boom. We are already on our way, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing can stop us now, except for our level 40 aberrant scorpion. It's a good looking level 95 dodo with some pink on it. So next order of business is to make some clothes maybe. Again we're going to go movement speed, cloth pants, shirt, gloves. get ourselves um, another spear going. What do we need for that? We need some wood. We can do that. Maybe we'll grab a point into weight here really fast so that we don't keep getting overloaded in seconds. What level is it? You here, Mr. Blue Light Buddy. Oh, hey, we're not that far from where we died, are we? This is my favorite map, by the way. In this mushroom forest, um, you know, where we're just getting started here, we've got ravagers, raptors, roll rats, crabs, spinos, sarcos. Um, but the look of this map is really what does it for me. You know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. What can we go ahead and drop for the time being? We will learn a storage box. And let's go ahead and eat some of these berries really quick. We'll get a little bit of water, a little bit of food, and reduce some of our weight. We'll get rid of these, get rid of these, and we're going to hold on to the auric mushrooms for now. Yeah, that should be good. So, to start, 
Let's see, we're gonna go up this way towards the portal. We're gonna avoid these uh, these mushrooms, by the way. Uh, if you see the Actually, I don't think there's one right here, but I'm not going to run through to find out. But the pointier cap ones of these red mushrooms, the pointy cap ones make you uh, shart yourself and throw up and have a general bad day. So try to avoid those when you can. We're going to head up here and see what we can do for uh, getting a little starter base going. Uh, figuring out what we need got a roll rat there oh thanks for the gloves buddy I think a moss shops might end up being a good first team for us here they get lots of mushrooms lots of fiber um, we've got a ravager fighting a stego over there the new stegos are great by the way I don't know if you guys have had a chance to try them out yet but I am thoroughly enjoying them Let's see we got a trike fighting scorpion up there we got another scorpion right here that's already dead. Definitely want to reap the benefits of those uh, trikes. And look, we got a hat too. All right. Oh, um, you know we're getting all this stuff, but we're not even dressed. Definitely think that we're going to have to. Uh, oh, here. This will slowly regenerate our water. It's always good to eat a couple of those uh, narco mushrooms because you're not paying attention and just put yourself to sleep, you know? Taking a nap on aberration. Hoping that we don't get uh, caught up by some raptors, ravagers, scorpions, or otherwise. But there's a good little spot over here uh, by the glow cave, by the glow tail cave, and we're gonna see if we can set up a base over there, get uh, started. Not really a base per se, but we'll put a foundation down. Um, we can put a forge there. There's some metal right there. We can get stuff going. Really, we just kind of need to get a foothold going um, so that we can start taming up some ravagers and raptors and bears. Oh my. All right, and we're woke, woken up here. Let's see what we've got. Um, that is a green moth shops over there. I don't think we're going to need this. Let's hold on to those. I don't really need those just yet. Oh, those brown mushrooms that I just dropped, by the way, if you do end up um, accidentally going through those red mushrooms that we were just talking about, those brown mushrooms will make your day a lot better. Bear that in mind, my friends. And we'll help you out. You got anything on you, buddy? Yeah, I'll take that. Heck, I'll take that too. Alright. Oh, well, go ahead and give me your meat too. Appreciate your contribution. Alright. So, we're, we're slow and encumbered. We're definitely going to need to level our weight up. Uh, these are the challenges that you guys would be facing too if you were starting out on the uh, aberration arc with no levels not having transferred from beating previous arcs you just get overloaded so quickly and uh, you need everything so you 
You don't want to skip the stuff. <clears throat> I think what we'll do in this uh, episode, though, is we'll get this little foothold going. We'll see if we can grab an explorer note. There's there's one right back where we were, and there's also one right up there, and a couple inside the uh, portal area. Of course, we're out of stamina. I'm, we're going to probably drown right here. Yeah. This will be... This will be. Man, I'm giving you guys a show so far, really living up to my name here. Alright, we'll go lower mushroom forest. By the way, when they say portal is the easiest, this is not true. Portal, which we're spawning right now, has basilisks. Not so hard later on when you have good teams, good stats, good gear, stuff like that. But uh, in the very, very beginning of the game, Portal is not the easiest. Basilisks are not the easiest. You know? It seems silly that they would list Portal as the easiest. Where, where am I? I'm not going the right way here. And we're going to head right over to that chute right there. We could have gone out the back end over there, but, um, yeah. I've seen lots of basilisks over there in my day. So there's definitely a basilisk spawn over there, and don't really feel like dealing with that right now. Uh, there is an explorer note right over here, by the way, but we're not going to grab it right now. Um, we're going to save that one for a little bit later. There's quite a few, few Explorer Notes um, up here. I'd like to utilize those Explorer Notes, though, once we grab a team. Um, so that we can level ourselves up and the team up. See, that's one right there. Uh, now, for those of you wondering if you wanted to build in here or anything like that, uh, you cannot build on the sloped area inside this chute, but you can you can build down here on this flat section. In my opinion, this is actually a pretty good spot for a basilisk trap because there's lots of basilisks that spawn in the portal area. Looks like there's actually a, a drop right around here right now. Let's see what we got. Oh. I forgot. I forgot that there's level requirements to open drops. Oh, and, and we're totally gonna die again if I don't get out of the water incredibly quickly. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Success. That is a super nice looking stego over there. Anyway, yeah, this one is my favorite map. We're going to go over to that island right there. There's our beacon right there. Hopefully our stamina isn't so crappy that we can't get our beacon and get to the island in one go. It is possible that our stamina is that crappy though. You know, you get used to playing on servers and with your single player or whatever and you have all these levels and you forget how hard it is at level zero where you have no stats and no teams and no anything. But, uh, you know, starting off on new maps is something that I really, really enjoy. I just haven't done it in a long time where I actually didn't have any levels as well. 
So this is interesting for me. This is a good playthrough. I'm, I'm excited to get this series started. I apologize for the, uh, the lengthy delay in between videos, but we'll, uh, we'll try to get this video, this series going fairly well and, and see if we can get you guys some videos in a decent time span. Let's get some more meat. Let's go ahead and offload some of this crap so that we don't die right away. Alright. Can I make it? Yeah, we're gonna make it. Alright. And it's a, of course a level 5 horse. Alright, so just to make sure that I don't ruin any spawn spots, we're gonna put our foundation here. Because I don't want to make that uh, metal that's over there stop from respawning. So we'll put down the second thatch foundation. This will be enough for a bed, a couple forges, and a smithy. And that's what we're gonna be going for. In the beginning here, We'll go for uh, a box, because we did learn that. to uh, make a storage box. So yeah, I got close to that there and it sprayed up its little uh, lovely hallucinogenic effects over there. Is there any wood on this little island? Any little mushroom trees we can hit up? So, uh, for those of you who don't know, over here is the Glowtail Cave. Uh, that's kind of what we're heading towards right now. We're, we're going to try to get some wood from that mushroom tree up there. Hopefully, we'll be able to climb this. All right. these let's see if we can make a campfire do we not learn campfire yet we didn't learn campfire yet okay cool so this here is the glow tail cave and you just head right down in there turn left and uh, follow the pathways and you can find yourself a glow tail along with Carnos, Carcanos, Raptors, Ravagers. Um, that's actually probably where we'll go to find a Ravager. They uh, tend to spawn better levels in that cave than I find in other areas up in the green zone. So um, when we're ready to get some Ravagers, that's likely where we are headed. Probably make this, uh, this video today just a little bit shorter. We'll get ourselves that... Uh, that foothold going which we have already just about got going um, and we'll see maybe we'll have our first tame today but I'm kinda thinking that it's just gonna be getting this little foothold um, and then going from there I like having this little foothold out here because raptors are horrible horrible swimmers so that bodes well for us to be out on this little island um, 
and yeah, I mean, most things, I don't, I don't think anything other than scorpions that's bad actually spawn here on this little island from what I remember. Um, so it's a good spot to just get yourself started. We're going to throw down these things and start saving stuff like narco berries and narco mushrooms and uh, we'll spoil up some meat here get us started for uh, making some narcotics a little bit later we'll save those and split this one yeah this should be good all right Now, harvesting gets us levels, so we're going to harvest up this stone here. Apparently this is quite the strong stone. I did do two times harvesting and two times harvest health, um, but maybe I'll have to adjust that down, because that stone, that one stone had 400 stone in it. I don't know if that, that seems a bit much. Definitely not trying to uh, take the easy route with things this time around, so. And let's fix that. Just doing that leveling grind. As soon as we get a team, we'll, we'll level up faster because we'll start going through and getting those uh, explorer notes, which make it definitely a lot easier to level up. Yeah, let's grab that stone, toss it that way. We'll put regular building supplies in this one. And then we'll just go back and do it some more. That's definitely the first order of business is get some levels going, get some stuff crafting up. We've got a uh, we've got a level right now, so we'll put that into weight. And then there's two things that I want. I want the campfire and I want the mortar and pestle. Great. All right, now we've got both of those. Now we're going to be able to level up quite a bit faster because um, we'll be crafting narcotics. Structures, crafting, we'll get two of those, those bad boys going and we need some thatch. I think we have some thatch. We may have some thatch. I don't know if I put it in here or not. No, I did not. Okay. So we're going to have to go get some thatch. In the meantime, we can put down these mortar and pestles. get that going we should be able to uh, get some more narcotics and whatnot going as well fairly soon
right. All right. Hey, look, we got another level up already. Two level ups. See, once you get that narcotics, once you get those narcotics and uh, other crafting items going, it, it goes a lot faster. That's for darn sure. Put some more movement speed. Let's go with a spyglass. And a bed. Darn. We were unable to get any crystal from those with the stone pickaxe. I was hoping that we could get it just the two. I think I think it's two that we need for the uh for the spyglass. Spyglass would be handy. In the meantime, we'll just grab some more berries here. Hopefully get some narco berries. Maybe not. All right. Do we have the stuff to make a bed? We still need thatch. All right. Let's offload some of this crap and then we'll go get some thatch so that we can make up a cooking fire and make up a bed. Uh, we'll save these mushrooms here. Drop these ones. Don't need that. Save those. Of course. Don't need those. Don't need those. Thank you. All right. Right here, we're just gonna grab as much thatch as we can, real quick. Get those, uh, get that bed going. Get that cooking fire going. Maybe we'll grab some more mushrooms real quick too. There's a bed. We've got the stone uh, back over our little hideout, but we'll get some more really quick. Get two campfires going. We will level up some more here. Uh, we'll do movement speed and weight. I have a feeling that once we get going here, once we get ourselves a team, and we start attacking things, um, we're just going to shoot up in level super quickly. With the uh, experience boost that they made permanent, um, you know, that two times experience boost they made permanent, leveling up is so much easier uh, these days than it was in the past. And, you know, I, I didn't affect the experience boost that we get at all um, on this playthrough um, through the server settings. So we're just going with basically what you would get on official. Um, Oh, let's get these things down. Uh, we'll put one there. One there. We'll get a bed up here. Boom. Let's 
get our stacks of meat from here. Boom. And, oh, so here's a quick tip. So if I put, say, all 78 meat in that one fire and get that one fire going, it's only going to cook, obviously, one meat at a time, right? But if I put a stack of fish meat and a stack of raw meat, it will cook the stack of fish meat and the raw meat at the same time. So it will cook twice as fast. Um, or you can do what I just did and make two different fires and that it cooks twice as fast. I could put uh, a stack of raw meat and a stack of fish meat in each of those and then be getting four times as much. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and see what ingrams we can get for the next couple of levels. We'll do bow. Yes. Um, mushrooms anytime soon. Um, the brown mushrooms are for the ag ag agarabic or whatever it is, the brown ones. They are for shine horns. The blue ones, the aquatic ones, are for uh, bulb dogs. These acerbic ones are for glow tails. Uh, and e each one of those glow picks obviously likes a a different um, mushroom and all of them oh, of course I just did that yes. all of them uh, take Z seeds as kibble so if you hang out next to one of those licky plants that we were just at um, those will spit out Z seeds uh, every so often as you sit in front of them and uh, when they spit those out you can obviously pick them up and that will uh, work as kibble for any of the glow pets. Alright, so we've got some good stuff going here. Let's go harvest some more berries for now. See if we can get some more narcotics going. Let's make this a little bit easier too. What we're going to do here. So if you see one of those... Um, red mushrooms with the caps on it. Go ahead and eat a few of these bad boys. And you can just walk right up to it and harvest it. Gives you rare mushrooms and rare flowers um, from the ones with the tr triangle caps as long as you are protected from their effect by the agarabic mushroom. So that's a, that's a good way to harvest rare flowers and rare mushrooms on this map uh, is to get those red triangle cap mushrooms uh, and then you can obviously use those for taming those guys over there I'm not sure if you can see that little hive back there but there is a hive back there I promise uh, we don't need these right now so let's get rid of those and we're still unable to walk so what else can we drop don't need those I really don't need those either Let's uh, get back to our little spot over here. Once we have a full stack or two of major berries, we'll uh, we'll run out and get ourselves some sort of tame. Um, maybe a parasaur, maybe an iguanodon. Depends what level we are uh, when we get to that point and what uh, what saddles we've learned. Let's put our stuff in here. All right. Some more of those going. Uh, how are we looking on the food? Fifteen, I'll take it. 
kill. Alright, we've got another level up. Thank you, narcotics. Do cementing paste now, that's good. I'm not too worried about learning the um, the building just yet. Obviously, we're not really building anything just yet, so um, I'm not too worried and fussed about getting that going first. Um, we do have some chitin. well so far let's see I'm not too worried about any of this stuff just at the moment uh, we will learn some of this building stuff pretty soon so that we can build um, a trap for some ravagers uh, so I really do want ravagers what level is the ravager saddle anyway Oops. that was not what I wanted to do Can you get into the search bar? No. Thank you. All right, Ravager Saddle is level 47. So we, we've got a little ways to go for that one, actually. Um, so maybe we won't be too worried about that just yet. And we don't really need a trap for raptors. Technically, you don't really need a trap for a Ravager either. I mean, quite honestly, um, the majority of ones I've tamed, I've tamed on foot with no trap and nothing of the sort. Um, let's put a little more weight. What level are we now anyway? 15. Okay. Okay. We'll get in there. Get some gunpowder. Learned. We're going to have to level up a little faster here, though. Let's see what level an Iguana non saddle is. Iguana. Level 30. Alright. Maybe we will we'll grab one of those Explorer notes. Um, what we'll do, we will go and kill a few things, get a bunch of meat, start spoiling it. Get a bunch more narcotic mu or narco berries and narco mushrooms, and then we will mass level with an explorer note and narcotics. Some more weight here. Do a large storage box. That might not be a bad idea. Maybe we knock ourselves out a low level trike. Get a trike really quick. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's let's do that. Alright, so we're actually gonna split this first episode into two clips and we'll pick up on the next one. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Paris. <laughs>